Hey guys, this is Herre from Tuir. This is the second video about the lyrics of the song Ragnarskraje from our album Hell, released on the 8th of March 2019 on Metal Blade Records. In the first video I explained the lyrical contents of the chorus and in this video I'll talk about the verses. Like I said in the first video, there are seven original manuscripts of this traditional Tyrus ballad and they range in length from 47 verses up to 104 verses, which is quite common for Faroese ballads. At such a length, naturally, it's not really possible to include all verses in one heavy metal track, so I just chose three verses that I thought had good lyrical and poetic content, and that were well phrased. It does happen that the phrasing of some verses is quite gnarly, and it doesn't fit the melody in any obvious way. In earlier times, the singer may simply have stretched the melody to fit the text, but as balladry has become more standardized and everybody sings along to the verses and not just to the chorus, it's not so easy anymore. The storyline of this ballad is, in short, the following. Ragnar sails out to find Aslaug, daughter of Sigurd Dragonslayer. She's gone missing for some reason. Uh, they anchor in a bay somewhere, they meet a boy, in some manuscripts is a dwarf, who tells them of a beautiful shepherd girl close by. Some of Ragnar's men go ashore and come back telling him about this beautiful girl they've met. Ragnar sends for her, but with the conditions that she should come neither dressed nor naked, and neither alone nor accompanied by anyone. The girl covers herself only with her long hair, takes her dog along and goes to meet Ragnar. He asks her who she is. First, she tries to cover her identity by saying her name is Kraka, but finally admits to being the daughter of Sigurd Fafnspain. Ragnar immediately takes her home and marries her like any sane man would do. Before I explain more, let me show you again the original recording I found of this ballad. The first verse in this recording is the same as the first verse that I've used in our version. Here we are told about Ragnar Lobrok being restless, working night and day building a boat, a knar, according to this ballad, which is a large freight carrying and trading vessel, not a longship. The verse goes like this. The first line, Kvarsje fek han Ragnar konkur fri om not et ladea. Literally, neither got he Ragnar king peace at night or day. Rephrased, it would be King Ragnar got no rest neither at night nor at day. And the second line, Fir en an heye knarrens muja suur iver have. Literally, until he had the knar made south across the sea. Rephrased, until he had made a knar that would sail south across the sea. In some manuscripts, it's east across the sea. The second verse is about Osla sneaking on board Ragnar's ship. She has a dragon in her eye, like her son Sigurd, and we're told that Sigurd Fafnusbein is her father. It goes like this, the first line. Rik stai in um snechunar bor, tamunti ongan vera. Literally, lady stepped in over boat's board. It probably nobody noticed, meaning a lady came on board, unnoticed most likely. And the second line of the second verse, Orm Barhon Uy Eya Aser, Dutter Shurar Snara. Literally, Dragon bore she in eye of her, daughter of Sigurd the Fast. Rephrased to good English, she bore a dragon in her eye, daughter of Sigurd the Fast. The Faroese word Orm is cognate of the English worm, but in ballads it's almost only used in the meaning of a dragon. The third verse repeats that Sigurd Dragonslayer was a father, that he stood in the blood of the dragon, and it goes on to say her name is Osla and Brynen was a mother. Like this, the first line. Shurur freyer var feyer hennar, han stå i ormsens blåa. Literally, Sigurd the famous was father of her, he stood in the dragon's blood. Rephrased, Sigurd the famous was a father, he stood in the blood of the dragon. And the second line of the third verse, Osla var hun katla sjolv, og Brynild var hennar a mower. Aslag was she called herself, and Brynild was her mother. No need to rephrase that. This is, as I'm sure some of you have noticed, a migratory legend. There are versions of this at least as far as Hungary. What would probably happen is you get a new story with an interesting plot and you simply attach some persons that already exist 
in your historical myths to the tale. So this did almost certainly not happen to the actual Ragnar Lovrog if he ever existed. I will leave the link for the tour version of Ragnar's Kraje in the description below for Spotify as well as for Apple Music. That's all for this time. I hope you find all this interesting. Please give this video a thumbs up and please leave your comments or questions if you have any below. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future episodes. Remember to also click that little alarm bell next to the subscription button to make sure YouTube alerts you when there's new videos on my channel. I want to thank my gracious and bright patrons on Patreon. They are, among others, Benny Olson, Greg Stock, Tuesday Publishing, Erica Wareski, Tiffany Lee, Graham Peebles, Juan Gonzalez, Michael Lewandowski, Mike Heinz, and Scott. The rest of you minge and flagrant ingrates, please consider supporting my video creation on YouTube. Go to patreon.com slash and take a closer look at how it works. I'd be eternally thankful for even the tiniest share. Until next week, cheers.